30 years ago, I was approached by an ABC uh, producer who had a black band put on his project by, because a guy blew his finger off and uh, asked me if I could do some special effects for him. And I knew a lot about macro and micro work. And here I'm uh, painting these crystals because I made a discovery after I'd filmed his project, all these little crystals growing in petri dishes that had long dried out and I had pairs of eyes staring out at me. And here I am using this technique that I discovered and it produces creatures with eyes like this and plant-like and I've learned to uh, landscape it so I can use fine brushes and tools and uh, heat and cold and vary the mixes to get different results. Now, Hillary Clinton has one of these images which uh, I called the way through and I sent it to her which she accepted and she was going up for elections and I said, I hope this shows you the way through. And then uh, Oprah Winfrey, Sylvester Stallone, Goldie Horn, and a whole lot of others got them and Colleen McCulloch among a few. Uh, this is called Drifters, which I was illustrated many years ago in Australian Geographic, among a few others. And it's been, while it's been one of the early ones, uh, the technique I actually use is to use fine brushes as this stuff is drying out because it actually has a mind of its own. And so really you have to work hand in hand with it to uh, complement the way it wants to grow. So it's possible to create landscapes. And so by brushing layers, uh, you can create all sorts of landscapes. Now, I, I did this one called Setting the Night on Fire at the Opera House by scraping away the fluid in the shape of the Opera House and then letting the crystals form on it and then lighting it so that I could light it with any colour. Now, the colour is... Uh, what captivates also. Uh, I can tell you that there's a yellow filter and a blue filter in the main in this, plus some other lights. The crystals only pick up light at 90 degrees to the angle of the crystals, which means you can selectively colour them. Uh, this one is called Fields of Gold, and in the foreground you can see where I've actually brushed, let the crystals grow off it, brush over it again and let the ones in the background form much smaller until you get a perspective into it. And then you let it have its head. Um, there's so many different varieties. Uh, I've never run out of uh, combinations and uh, that, that these things will form. It's just amazing and I'm astonished every day. Now I've done thousands of them literally and I have a huge library of this stuff. Uh, the, the, there's just no end to what you can do. I'm still learning about it after 30 years. Uh, I'm still making major discoveries and producing so many different forms that uh, the mind boggles at the, at the combinations that you can strike. And so when you add the colour to it, as samples of creatures, I've called this one the walrus, and you can see why. And it's actually got male and female walrus in there if you have a careful look. It's, it's one of those ones that's always captivated me. But they're, they're, they're full of creatures and full of plants. This one's called Centre of Attention. And uh, I did it probably 25 years ago. Uh, I've got different forms done in different colours of most of these. And so if you have a colour preference, I can provide with your personal colour from the library. This is called... Uh, uh, walls of ice and you can see why uh, now in the foreground you can also see that where I've used that technique of brushing over and creating a foreground and then letting it have its head at the back to create it and you let it have its own head as to what it wants to create this is coral like structures which uh, uh, become, come in many different forms and uh, I've got so many of them I felt I should put in a sample of this to show you tonight. Uh, these are also very high resolution and so uh, I usually like to photograph on medium format 
uh, camera, but lately I've been using a Canon. And uh, the astonishing structure in some of these, how, how, does, how do you get squares and, and boxes out of these things? Uh, it, it's just amazing. And I truly am astonished every time I do them. This is called Windows 95. Uh, and I think it's better. Uh, it, it's using the same techniques but with a different mix of, of the materials that I use. And by adding uh, my interpretation of the colours. Now, this is straight lines and, and, and faces to me. Uh, it, it's just another astonishing growth that these things form. Uh, I love all the little eyes that are locked into these. Uh, they're almost cocooned. This is called Genesis, and I have a, a, a colleague in China who has this a huge one of this up on his wall, and he talks about it every day, and he gets so many comments about it, and I get so many approaches for these things. Uh, but that I really love, and the centre in that. Now this is the, for me, the nexus. It, it is uh, the birthplace of stars. And I believe this art is being launched here tonight as the birthplace. And I think I'm probably among that too. I hope you've enjoyed it tonight. Thank you very much.